Good morning from the heart, October 7th, like Christ. 2 Peter 1, 4 says, By which have been given to us exceedingly great and precious promises, that through these you may be partakers of the divine nature. Christ is an open fountain, an inexhaustible fountain, from which all may drink and drink again and ever find a fresh supply. But none will ever come to him save those who will respond to the drawing of his love. None will feed on the bread of life which came down from heaven. None will drink of the water of life flowing down from the throne of God, save those who yield to the pleadings of the Spirit. Since God has given the treasures of heaven and the gift of his only begotten Son, how shall the sinner escape who neglects so great salvation and sets at naught the great provision of God? The justice of God is manifested in the condemnation of all who are finally impenitent and unbelieving. There will be no excuse for the sinner who willfully rejects and neglects so great salvation. The gift of life has been freely, graciously, joyously offered to fallen humanity. Through Christ, we may become partakers of the divine nature and obtain the gift of eternal life, for it has been abundantly provided for all who will come and receive it through God's appointed means. When Paul beheld the wonders of redemption and the foolishness of those who did not comprehend its nature, he exclaimed, O foolish Galatians, who hath bewitched you that you should not obey the truth before whose eyes Jesus Christ hath been evidently set forth, crucified among you? Those who go on to know the Lord know that his goings forth are prepared as the morning, and all who receive the precious jewels of truth will hasten to impart the knowledge of their riches in Christ to those who are around them. When people respond to the drawing of Christ and view Jesus as the royal sufferer on the cross of Calvary, they enter into oneness with Christ. They become the elect of God, not by works of their own, but through the grace of Christ. For all their good works are wrought through the power of the Spirit of God. All is of God and not of themselves. The fruit we are to bring forth is the fruit of the Spirit. Your fruit is to remain, to be of such a character that it shall not perish, but reproduce after its kind a harvest of a precious order. Hope you have a great day today. Live from the heart.